The typical American voter is someone who doesn't have a lot of direct information or precise information about politics and elections, doesn't spend a whole lot of time following politics or elections, and in this year especially have some uh, fairly negative attitudes about the political system. The turnout actually ranges quite a bit in presidential elections over the past 20 or 30 years. It's been as low as right around 50 percent, uh, up to a high of around 62 or 63 percent. In terms of whether people vote or not, we know that demographics are especially important. It's highly educated, high income individuals who are far more likely to vote. So while you hear that there's 50% turnout or 60% turnout, um, that actually is uh, uh, an average of high status individuals and lower status individuals. So. Uh, that the demographics, people who have resources, who are invested in the system, who the system pays much more attention to in terms of campaign mobilization, they vote much more than uh, others do. Well, there's a tremendous variation, and I always underscore the importance that every election has its unique features, and the one that drives these group and place and age differences the most is what the campaign is about and the resources that the campaign has. A very basic question is, who do political campaigns target to try to get to the polls or try to persuade? And for many years, uh, youth and uh, racial and ethnic minorities have not been targeted by either party, and the people who have been targeted are actually higher income, higher status individuals. Oh, a lot of the predictions for this year have been off, so I, I hesitate, but, but in my, uh, brave moments, I lean toward thinking that turnout will be high. And I think that's because uh, the Republican candidate has said enough that there are some groups in society that feel threatened by some of his proposals and ideas, and, uh, and that will mobilize them more uh, to show up at the polls. Uh, on the other side, um, I think Clinton will have a, the Democratic candidate, will have a, a strong campaign organization and, and build on what the Obama campaigns have done to try to uh, get their supporters to the polls.